Tonight on great performances, some of the best musicians you've probably never heard of. Their songs are like family. Their lives is what the music's all about. Portraits of six extraordinary musicians, including B.B. King, and a special appearance by Linda Ronstadt. This music is based on tradition. And when I want to sing something, I have to think about what was in the living room when I was eight years old. From a mariachi festival to an Eskimo ritual dance. From a Cajun house party to a Mardi Gras parade. From an Irish session in the Bronx to a jam session in the Mississippi Delta. And it's all a part of that family of music. The Songs of Six Families, next on Great Performances. Great Performances is made possible by the National Endowment for the Arts, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by the annual financial support from viewers like you and by Duracell, which proudly supports Great Performances, television's longest-running performance series, Duracell. The Copper Top Battery. Special funding for this program has been provided by the Marilyn M. Simpson Charitable Trust. There's great music in every corner of America, on concert stages and in the streets, living rooms, kitchens, clubs, and cafes. It's played by all sorts of people of all ages and all walks of life. You're about to meet some of the most talented musicians you've probably never heard of, along with a couple of legendary performers. All of them are among the best traditional musicians in America. Traditional music is music that's handed down from generation to generation. It's not learned in the classrooms. Most of it's never been written down. It's part of that great oral tradition that binds us both to our past and to our future. The music you're gonna hear has been performed pretty much the same way for a long time. By playing it the way it's been played for generations, each musician reaffirms his or her role in an extended cultural family. They're proud of where they came from. They're proud of who they are. Ethnicity hasn't always been fashionable here, but part of the character of our country is the extraordinary diversity of its families. You can hear the strength of America in the songs of these six families. I grew up in Brownsville, Texas, just across the border from Matamoros, Mexico. I spoke Spanish before I spoke English. Like my friend Linda Ronstadt, I grew up with the sounds of the mariachi. These songs of the farmers and jornaleros, the day laborers, took their present form in the 19th century in and around Guadalajara. And that's where Natividad Cano, Nati Cano, was born. Now in Los Angeles, Nati is the leader of Los Camperos, the countrymen, which Linda calls one of the three world-class mariachis. Each spring, Nati, Linda, and thousands of musicians and students come to the Tucson, Arizona Mariachi Festival, a week of concerts and classes. Following my father, they used to play in the mariachi. I started grabbing one of, one of the guitars, one of the vihuelas, and started trying to play when I was four years old, five years old. Then my father started teaching me, and uh, that was the beginning. Dije buenos días. Gracias. I'm proud to present to you Los Camperos de la Picana. Vienen bien limpiecitos, se bañaron, se bañaron. Mira, ahí está el centro. Uno y uno. Ahí está el centro. Es el sample. Acá. Voy, un, dos, tres. The music was uh, to find a better way of life. 
remember that my father didn't make enough money working on the fields, you know, to, to take care of us. Music was a way to improve. At the time, my father thought, like many people do even today, that Maria is not quite a real musician. But uh, I had to follow my dream. I will see the signs outside the, the restaurants or cantinas, you know, the, no no salesmen, no no pillars, no 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 mariachis, no dogs. And I could see the waiters and, and even some of the customers, no, 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 go away, go away. Because we were not considered what you call good musicians. I had to change that. You know, he's one of the heads of the three world-class mariachis. And I wanted to get to know this music, and I wanted to get a chance over a prolonged period of time, you know, to really saturate myself in it. I presented this list of songs that were the only ones that I really knew, and he said, oh, these are very difficult, these songs are very old, and how did you hear them? I said, well, they're just the only ones I know. I heard them from my family. Not the understood that I really wanted to do traditional stuff. I went over there every day to the restaurant and sat in the back room with them and they rehearsed with me. The only way to do it is just to hang out with them and do it. Not the and those guys taught me the traditions and taught me the words. With the mariachi, I never get homesick because I look around and there's always a guy that looks like from where I came from. I can play a little county fair or I can play Carnegie Hall. And I can look down at one of those little county fairs and see a grandmother, a mother, and a child, you know, three or four generations sometimes sitting together and they all r respond the same way. <laughs> When we go on, on the road with the band, it's, it's a family sensation. Since family counts so much in, in the Mexican community, automatically you feel this, this, uh, this sense of identity. I still have guys from 30 years ago. The new ones, three or four years. I, I, I feel it's my family. I really do. The harmony of, of our singing has to do being a family. Hey, let's sing all together. That becomes that big uh, sound. You see two guys singing a duo, and then they say, well, I'm gonna sing this song. I'm gonna do it my way. Can you follow me? Sure I can. So the guy says, I'm gonna sacrifice my style just to be with you. The Mexicans are the singers of Latin America. They're the ones with the great, beautiful, wonderful ringing voices. 
And I'll tell you, once you get your teeth into them, it's like singing those standards that I sang with Nelson Riddle, the Rogers and Hart songs and the Gershwin songs. Once you sing those, you're spoiled for life. Yeah. Their brain, five or six hundred songs. It's to be in your blood. I saw Los Camperos in Tucson, and I remember sitting with my mom, and I said, Mom, it would be a dream come true if I could get into that group. I'd like to dedicate it especially to my mom and to my family. My mom is the one that picked the violin for me. I love you, Mama. She just said, Monica, I want you to play it, I want you to learn. So I kept practicing and doing it for her. And actually, it was just for her. Amor Eterno. The song has to do with a, a mother and child. My mom was there that night. And she's not in real good health. I know that soon things may not end up, uh, sh you know, she may not be around. That song is just the child telling the mother that um, I'll miss you. And now I look at it and I, I say, I, I had it really, really easy. These guys, you know, did this for, for a living from when, I mean, when they were five, six years old, standing on street corners. I learned to call him Chil Tepin. In a way, I relate to that little boy because I think that's the way I learned. The way he reacts to the music, the way he reacts to playing with us, he's already there. He's going to become one of the great musicians. We think about our roots and our traditions, and, and it's with us, it's, it's within us. I don't want to think how oh, my people always be portrayed like uh, the ranchero, you know, with the head, you know, just always, you know, sitting down and being lazy. I think that be proud to be who you are. Who wants to play? Come on. Play? I told you we want to play today. Vamos. Vegas, todos. I couldn't stand any kind of Mexican music. My grandfather would play and I'd say, Grandpa, turn it off, turn it off. I never, never thought about my culture. I never thought about where I came from. Like my school, uh, nobody wanted to be Mexican. I remember that now because I didn't either. I thought Mexican, you know. And I'm so proud now to know that, uh, that my family came from Mexico. I do feel that this music should keep going for years and years. I want this for everybody. Music has no no countries, no 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 limitations. impossible that this thing can survive one more generation and it does you know you can only cross your fingers and hope they'll make something for the 21st century that will be mariachi but 
but I hope it'll have something of that that guy that's sitting up in a village someplace dwelling this scritchy violin. It doesn't sound like any other place on the planet except that village.